they despised you and they caused you so much pain. This is God's word for you. Shalom, the Lord bless you. Welcome to Purpose and Marita Bliss with Pastor Honoring. I have a word to share with someone. I just had a powerful live session and I felt late to share this word with someone because most of us don't follow the live session but i felt strongly in my spirit that this is a word that will bless someone god says they despised you and hated you for nothing and god says this word is for you and this word is coming to us from the book of genesis chapter 29 and verse 31 and the bible says when god when god saw that Leah was despised, that Leah was not loved. God blessed her and opened her womb. When God saw that Leah was not loved, that Leah was hated, God blessed her and opened her womb. And God, and God sent me here today to tell someone, the reason, the, the, the fact that they hate you is the reason, is the motivation for God to bless you. Yes, your enemies think they are doing you harm. They think that they hate you. They think they are bringing you down. Little do they know they are doing you more good than they can ever imagine. Leah was so blessed that she, she, she ended up giving, giving Jacob six sons. Meaning Jacob would not have even had all the sons that he was supposed to if God, God wanted him to. The 12 tribes of Egypt was, or of Israel, sorry, were supposed to come from him. So without Leah, Jacob would not have had that. So it was due to the hatred that they hated her because he was not loved that God blessed her. And God said, I should tell someone, yes, you think you are having enemies. You are, you are frustrated because they just hate you. They are setting you up. They are framing you up, bringing scandals. You do your best. You've pushed you. You've, you've tried so hard to be loved. You do your best to be loved. You've sacrificed. And yet they just hate you for no reason. God says that is the reason why he is blessing you. That is the reason why he is blessing you. Come on. On. They thought they were doing Joseph harm. The brothers of Joseph, because they hated him, they thought they were doing him harm. Little did they know they were taking him to, the, to, to his place of assignment. Little did they know the dream that he had seen needed them to send him to Egypt. Joseph was not supposed to be a king or a prime minister in Canaan. He, God had shown him he, would, he was going to rule. But little did he know he was supposed to rule in Egypt. And it took the brothers, that the hatred of the brothers, for him to go there and for, for him to leave from Canaan to his place of assignment, for him to leave from Canaan to the palace. It took the people that hated him. He didn't see that coming. He didn't understand what was happening. Just like someone, you are standing somewhere and you're asking yourself, why do they hate you so much? Why is it that they are after your life? Because you don't understand. But God says, I should tell you, he is behind the scenes. The Bible tells us now in, in, in Psalms 105 from verse 16 to 24 to 22, the Bible says God has sent a hate of him. God has sent a, a, someone to Egypt, Joseph. God has sent someone to Egypt to make him a, a, a leader, to prepare the place for the, for, because God knew there was going to be a famine. God was the one that sent a famine. But before the famine came, God has sent Joseph. Be, and, and, and when I saw that, I was asking God, but God, I thought it was the brothers of Joseph that hated him, that decided to sell him as a slave. The Bible goes further to say, but God sent him there first as a slave. And then he was bound. He was bound with chains. It means even Potiphar's wife was in the plan of God. But little did she know, she just did not know she was walking according to the plan of God. So the brothers of the hatred of the brothers of, of Joseph were in the plan. And God told me, sometimes the people that love you will do little for you to fulfill your destiny. Will do little to take you to, the, to your place of the promise. He says, Jacob who loved Joseph so much would never have allowed Joseph to leave his side. Would never have allowed Joseph 
to go to Egypt. So God would use your haters more than the ones who love you. Sometimes you've got to thank God for your enemies. Sometimes you've got to thank God for the people that hated you. Sometimes you've got to thank God for the for, for, for those who did not stand with you, those who despised you for nothing. You tried your best, but they still hated you. Sometimes you've got to thank God for that guy that treated you, that lady that walked out on you. You loved them, you sacrificed for them, you gave them your time, your energy, but still they, they, they rejected you. Sometimes you've got to thank God for them because when they walked out, you learned how to love yourself. You learned how to build yourself up. You learned how to be stable financially by yourself. You learned how to get a good job and work so that you make your money because you spend your time supporting them, loving them, and, and at the end of the day, they treated you like trash. They treated you like they were doing you a favor and you decided to take your hands into your life. Sometimes the people that hated you, the people that framed you up, Joseph would never have known that being in prison was the, was, was was his pathway to the palace. He would never have known that Potiphar's wife was used by God. Everything seems like the, she was used by the enemy to destroy his life. But God was behind the scenes. And God says, I should tell someone, out of that messy situation is coming the best message you will ever have to preach. Out of that test is coming the testimony, the highest testimony you ever have record. God says, he is in your life, walking behind the scenes. And God says, I should tell someone, your greatest challenge and your greatest Oh, la ziba yana bara sobra handa la rasiana. Yana bara suanda bala rushaka. God says your greatest pain is, is, is going to become your greatest blessing. God says your greatest pain is going to become your biggest your biggest blessing. You might not see it now. I know they hate you so much. I know you feel like you can't handle this amount of hatred anymore. But God says those enemies are a necessary part because he is preparing a table before you and in the presence of your enemies. God says all along he has been wanting to prepare a banquet for you. He has been wanting to prepare a buffet for you. But the problem is that you had not had any enemies before now and now that the enemies are there he says he's preparing a table don't you dare give up on God is preparing a table for you what have you been believing God for marriages at the table what are you trusting God for that that financial breakthrough is at the table financial open doors they are at the table that prosperity is at the table that peace that you lost is at the table the happiness you are seeking is at the table oh la zibayana the joy that you need is at the table the healing you are praying for is at the table. But God says the table is not complete. The table cannot be set until their enemies. Your enemies are about to become your servants. Your enemies are about to become your servants. The people that hated and despised you, they are about to come back to you. At the end of the day, the brothers of Joseph were bowing down before him. Your enemies are about to bow before you. Your, the, your haters are about to bow before you. Your haters are necessary to stand at the table so they can become your servant. And God says, I should tell someone. He is not done with you. Your story is not over. Yes, I know that Penina might be making fun of you, Hannah, but God says, I should tell you, Liana Barasiana is going to take the hatred of Penina. He's going to take the hatred of that person. He's going to take the mockery they are mocking you for you to be able to enter your place of prayer. They don't know it, but they are building capacity in you. They don't know it, but they are bringing a prayer warrior out of you. They don't know it, but they are making you a woman that making a woman of faith out of you. Oh, it took Penina for, 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 for Hannah to enter the place of prayer. So there is a somewhere somewhere in your loins. There is a in your womb. There is a somewhere somewhere in your in your DNA. There is a somewhere somewhere in your life. There is a somewhere somewhere in your destiny. And it's waiting for the for the haters and the mockers to stay him to come back, to come alive. Don't blame the people that hate you. They are doing you more good than you can ever, ever imagine. They are doing you more good. Don't blame, don't be angry with the situations that cause you pain. Your greatest blessing is coming out from your greatest pain. Your greatest blessing is a product of your blessed or of your greatest pain. I hope you receive this word with gladness. I hope this, I pray this word reaches the right person. God bless you. Shalom.